Federal officials attempting to round up 3,000 wild horses in rural Nevada to be adopted or taken to a holding pasture. The American Wild Horse Campaign shared this video. They say shows one getting injured trying to escape. Depending on who you ask, the roundups are either a necessary solution to horse overpopulation or an inhumane practice. These sorts of traumatic injuries are horrific. These horse numbers are totally out of control. They need to have significant roundups. They need to reduce the horse population. This year, seven Nevada counties have declared states of emergency, which Nevada State Senator Ira Hansen sent off to the federal delegation. Honestly, it's an environmental catastrophe. They're destroying springs, riparian habitats. Uh, destroying all sorts of habitat issues around the state of Nevada, harming native wildlife species. The BLM says the current horse and burrow population is estimated to be as much as five times the appropriate management level and growing 20 percent per year. Hansen says they outcompete native wildlife and degrade the rangelands. But the American Wild Horse Campaign's executive director argues the government's so-called appropriate management levels aren't determined by what the landscape can sustain, rather... It's the number of horses that are allowed to be on the land when most of the forage is given to private livestock. I believe the livestock are overpopulating in this area. They support fertility control, a method Hansen says would take too long. So they're growing at the rate of roughly 20% a year, and we can't wait for them to finally find some magic uh, birth control solution. In Reno, Ben Marjot reporting. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.